Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you record on Linux with Auto5. I want to show you the basics of the software and we are also going to create a guitar backing track. So the first thing we do is make sure that the check audio server is started. If you don't know what the check audio server is, please watch my other video about it. So the check audio server is started and everything is running fine. Then we start order. The first thing that comes up is the session setup. We create a new session by clicking here. We can name it here like we want to. Let's say we type recording demo one and hit open here. So this is the main window of the other software. On the left top side we have the main controls here. And on the right side we have the three main user interfaces. Editor, Mixer and Settings. We go to Editor. Then we are creating a new audio track by clicking right click here. We name it drums and click add. So this is our new audio drums track. The next thing I want to do is to import a drum loop. For this we click right click here and then insert existing media here. I have a blues drum loop here. Let's hear it. That seems nice. We're going to import it here. We click import and then close. You can now see the drum loop here. But you can also see that the lines here and here are not exactly with the drum loop here. So we have to change the tempo of the song to the tempo of the drum loop. We are going to do this by clicking tempo here and double click and then change it to 72, that's the tempo of the drum loop. And then we click constant and apply. Now you can see that the lines here end with the drum loop here. We are now creating the guitar rhythm track by clicking right click here and then name this guitar rhythm and click add. When we want to record something we have to make sure that we hit the record button here. We also have to make sure that the right record input is set. We click right click here and then on inputs. Here we can select the different inputs but capture 2 is the right input for the guitar. Then we close it again. On the main controls we click record and when we click play it starts recording. So let's record the guitar. So we have now recorded the rhythm track, but you can see that it's a little bit longer than the loop, so we're going to copy it again. The last loop, copy and paste it, and put it on the end. And then we're going to cut it here to this, put it in the front, and then Cut it in the end, like this, and let's hear it. OK, 
Okay, this seems nice. We are now adding a fade out effect. We are doing this by clicking here on this little button here and yes, put it like here and doing this also on the drum loop here. And if we're going to th this section here and start again. <laughs> We are hearing now the fade out effect. Let's create another track by clicking right click here and then we name this bass and click add. We are now changing recording from the guitar rhythm track to the bass track by clicking here and then we select the right input this is also going on Capture 2. Since I have no bass guitar, I'm also doing this with my normal guitar, but in another setting. For recording the next track, I'm going to push everything a, bit, a little bit back, that I can have a count in. I click Record again, and then start recording by hitting the Play button. We are also cutting this track here by pushing it to this one here, cutting the front and cutting the back, this here, pushing it back again and then push everything back to the front. Let's hear it again. That seems cool. We are now changing to the mixer interface by clicking here. And we start from the beginning and hear it again. Let's say we want to have a louder drum set, a little less rhythm. change back to the editor interface. When we select everything and click right click, play, loop region, we have a loop of the whole song. With this loop we can play some lead guitar. Let's put the master volume a little bit back and then play the loop. So this was my short tutorial about recording on Linux with Ardo 5. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video or comment if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.